Hello, I'm James Whittaker, and I'm the Head of Academic Development at NCC Education. We are an awarding body based in Manchester in the United Kingdom, and today I'm going to talk to you about one of our qualifications called the Level 3 International Foundation Diploma for Higher Education Studies, or for short, the IFD. One of the first questions I get asked about this qualification is why is it called the Level 3 International Foundation Diploma? And the Level 3 actually refers to the regulatory framework in the UK. And Level 3 qualifications grant access to higher education. For, for example, the first year of a university bachelor degree, which in the UK framework is Level 4 and second year is Level 5, etc. So this course, um, alongside A-levels, the International Baccalaureate, um, grant access to higher education, and they are all at level three in this framework. So really, we can describe the International Foundation Diploma as a bridging qualification to a degree from your high school qualification overseas to the first year of a degree in the UK, the US, New Zealand, Australia, or any country. And it does this in different ways. So first of all, it does this linguistically because one of the entry requirements along with a high school qualification is IELTS 4.5. And this course aims to take people from IELTS 4.5 all the way to IELTS 6 or above, which is what universities in the UK typically require for entry. You may ask about, do you need to have an IELTS certificate? And the answer to that is no. We actually accept other qualifications such as the TOEFL IBT, um, Pearson um, Test of English, even Duolingo now. But also we have our own um, English placement test. So if you don't have a recognised English language qualification, you can go into your local NCC centre and ask them about um, the English language placement test, which will give you a yes or no answer as to whether you have the right English level to, for this qualification. Also, the course will help you, help you academically. You have a number of elective fields to choose from, uh, whether it be business, science, um, engineering or computing, and these will help you gain a f an understanding of these areas which will ultimately prepare you for your university study. But also socio-culturally, because we, we have a unit um, which explores moving abroad and living abroad in depth, but also it prepares you for study in a new environment whereby the education system in your home country might be um, very different to what it is like in the UK, where you are expected to conduct independent research, um, give presentations, take part in group work activities, um, as well as take exams. This course will prepare you for all of these study habits and also um, these different assessment types. What I'll do now is talk about the qualification structure and every student will need to pass eight units to achieve the qualification, of which six of these units are core. And these are developing English language skills. And this aims to build students English, English level from IELTS 4.5 up to IELTS 5.5. From there, we go on to advanced English language skills, which aims to bridge that gap from IELTS 5.5 up to IELTS 6 and above, which is what UK universities would require for entry. Then we have culture studies, and this is the unit I referred to before in terms of teaching you about what it's like to move abroad, um, study abroad and, and live abroad. Um, so that you are well aware of the challenges you may face and how best you can do to um, get around those challenges. We also have studying communication skills and this is the unit which really emphasizes um, getting into a good study habits. 
So in terms of, I mentioned um, with the assessment of presentations, um, taking notes during lectures, um, taking part in group work activities, all of this will be covered here so that you are well prepared to study in an overseas university. We also have a foundation maths unit and English for academic purposes. And whereby the other two English language units um, really emphasize on building vocabulary, um, grammar accuracy. This is all about um, the written form of English and being able to construct an essay properly going from the sentences and the grammar structures that you'll learn in the other two units to building paragraphs and really um, building an argument in your essays. And then we have our elective units of which every student will need to choose at least two. We have different streams that this is based on. So we have our business stream, which has introduction to business and introduction to accounting and economics. Computing with introduction to computer science and programming. Engineering with further maths and physics. Health, which is chemistry and biology. And then we can mix these units. So we have chemical engineering with further maths and chemistry. And then we have fire, higher finance with further maths and introduction to accounting economics. And our arrangements with different universities are built on these streams, but that's not to say that you can't mix them. So for example, um, some students choose to take introduction to business and introduction to computer science, and that is absolutely fine. And they progress to very good universities which have business IT courses. Um, but it's just the fact that these universities would look at the app applications on a more case by case basis. This slide really emphasizes what the qualification is all about, and that is progression to a bachelor's degree overseas. And our partnerships team have created progression arrangements with over 80 universities worldwide. And some of the flags on the right hand side here emphasize which countries these universities are based in, primarily the UK, but also a growing number in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the US, etc. You can apply to any UK university through the UCAS system, which is the university um, application system, um, or directly through their international office. You can choose to progress to with NCC and go on to our level four diplomas, which are equivalent to the first year of, of study um, of a bachelor's degree in the UK. But we also have arrangements with many um, transnational education programs with the University of London, who have many um, partners overseas, the University of Sunderland, Westminster, and also the accounting um, qualification ACCA.